The odds are stacked against India's poor. The door to education is too often closed to them. With the help of NGOs like Shine, some force that door open. This is the story of two of those children. Rupali comes from a family of four. Originally from Bengal, her father is a rickshaw puller and her mother is a housewife. Rupali is in third class. Her sister Sonali attended Shine and has now progressed to mainstream education. Rupali's is one of the stories we will explore. The second story we will be following is that of a five-year-old girl, Nisha. Nisha's parents were never educated, but are determined to make a better life for their children. In order to give Nisha the best chance possible, they enrolled her in Shine. Uh, Shine Foundation at present is working in the community of Gijor, which is in Noida, and in Lakhapur, which is in Fridabad. Uh, like Shine Foundation's education model uh, is basically uh, in which we enroll children from the communities who have never been to school, or uh, they are like dropout due to some reason, various reasons and uh, we provide them education from class ECC to class 4 like I have a team of 8 teachers and uh, they are managing like class of 30 students and uh, we provide them with education and we uh, also make sure that you know extracurricular activities are part of the curriculum and um, once the kids come, once, once the child completes uh, his schooling up to fourth standard we mainstream the child in public or private school based upon their financial status as well as the uh, child's performance in the school in Shine Fountain Shine uh, Center. And um, uh, why we started this model was basically because like you know we could see that a lot of children are like out of school and they come like you know working in uh, small scale shops or in dhabas just to earn money and uh, they had never actually really tasted the you know what exactly education is and why education Shine has a strong ethos of guiding children towards higher opportunities. They place emphasis on education that stretches beyond job procurement and focus on the development of basic life skills. In order to achieve this goal, the Shine program applies a broader approach to education, far more than basic schooling. This program uh, has lots of other aux auxiliary services like uh, midday meal, where a home cooked meal is provided to the kids every day and uh, which is designed by a nutritionist so that we can touch on all the nutrition aspects and uh, then we have uh, a free uniform system where we uh, provide them with uniforms and they have at least a nice clean dress to wear to school and they get used to the uniform uh, system stationery is free of cost we have healthcare camps we have uh, psychosocial support, we have counsellors coming in. So it's basically looking at the overall development of the child. We do have lots of extracurricular activities. Uh, we have a dance class, music, art and craft. We have summer camps every year where um, we try and hone on the skills uh, of the kids and try and motivate them to pursue further. We have uh, tie-ups with a lot of other organizations where we can try and uh, motivate kids who are into sports, we have the sports bent of mind. <laughs> Shine has a policy of working amongst communities which have not yet benefited from the presence or assistance of other NGOs. They set up their schools in some of the poorest regions and amongst the most disadvantaged slums in order to provide better opportunities and a brighter future.
for migrants who live in these areas. Without Shine's drive and determination to enter into such communities, children like Rupali and Nisha would be left behind. Okay, see, the type of community that we guys are working with is um, the urban slum marginalized, uh, basically urban slum or marginalized communities. So the population out here is mostly the migrants coming from Bihar, UP, West Bengal, Haryana, all over the country. Okay, and they are here for jobs. So uh, the children of these uh, communities, they come in, uh, they have a uh, lot of, uh, uh, they, they basically, they, they lack a lot of uh, resources. They don't have proper shelter, they don't have proper guidance. So what we basically do, um, we, for ECCD and KG, we don't have any exams or anything like that. So we go to the community. We have, um, we do a lot of street plays to encourage the parents and children to come uh, for the education uh, program in our centres. And um, for a class for second, third and fourth, and ALC, we take tests just to understand the level of the child. And accordingly, we place the child into different classes. When Shine first entered the area, parents were sceptical of the motives driving the NGO movement as a whole. They assumed any charity's primary aim was to make money. Shine's team worked hard to prove those myths had no foundation. They made a great effort to integrate smoothly with the families of their students, as well as the entire community. As a result, they now have a healthy working relationship with the families. By reaching out with trust-building strategies, such as home visits and regular updates, there has been an increase from 15% to 90% attendance at parent-teacher meetings. Due to Shine's passion for the betterment of families like Rupali's and Nisha's, strong relationships between the parents and the Shine staff has now been established. Although Shine take a well-rounded and broad approach to education, the main focus of their work is ensuring the children reach their full potential academically. And we want, they always like, they never stop their study. They like continue their study and they can like get good job in their future because their parents they are not working, they have a good job. Like, someone is like Riksha Kular, some their mothers are working in how like housemaid. So, we want that kids never stop their study. <laughs> और मैं इसे भी लेने इसीलिए आती हूं ताकि मुझे यहां की टीचर देखने मिले और स्कूल कितना अच्छा हुआ है वो भी देखने के लिए मिले Shine has already impacted the lives of hundreds of children and continues to strive on behalf of those in need into the future so that their future can be made brighter The power of education creates change Change is now happening